to this edition of Everything Home. I'm your host, Brian Domingo. Today on our show, we're going to teach you how to fix stripped out screw holes in a wooden door. A lot of times these screw holes will get stripped out on the door side, and then the hinge is going to start to pull away, and it'll actually make your door kind of sag over to where it's hitting the door jam when you try to close it. Now, if this is your problem, we're going to show you a way to do it using three or four different materials. Now, we're going to either use toothpicks, wooden dowels, regular carpenter's wood glue, or a quick dry epoxy. In this demonstration that we're going to show you, we're going to use both the toothpicks, the wooden dowels, but we're going to use the quick dry epoxy because you don't even have to take the door off to use this material and it'll dry real quick and then you can get it all put back together and working usually within an hour. Let's get started on this. Okay, so this is our door hinge that we're having an issue with and what it is is the screws are basically stripped out in the door. They've been over tightened and they're not even holding anymore. So what it's allowing to do is this hinge is pulling away from here and it's letting our door sag a little bit. So we're going to take out these screws. We can get them out by hand. We will. Some aren't as stripped as bad as others. That one we'll have to try to unscrew it and get that one out. And as you can see the holes here are stripped out. So we're going to do three of them with using uh, the dowels and then the other one we're going to do using toothpicks. Okay so on the top three holes we're going to use the dowel pins on those and the bottom one because it's not quite as bad we're going to use the toothpicks. Now these are 5 16 inch dowels so what you're going to want to do is you're going to get a 5 16 inch drill bit and if it's a solid core door, which means if it's solid all the way through, then you're going to want to mark on your drill bit how deep you need to drill for these dowels. And then you can put a mark on your drill bit for that. And that way you don't drill in too far. This one, it's only solid to about here, and then it uh, has a foam in between. So we're not too worried. These will go to about a little bit deeper than what the, uh, than what the solid piece is. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill out our first three holes. You want to make sure that you drill them out nice and straight. Now that we have those all drilled out, we're going to just kind of slide in the dowel, just make sure it fits. It fits perfectly into all of them. We're going to take that out. Now let's go mix up our epoxy that we're going to use to glue these in place. Okay, the easiest way to mix the resin and the hardener, because it's two part when you have epoxy, you have one part that's the resin and one part's the hardener, and it doesn't activate until you mix them together. Now you can get them where these are actually combined in a squeeze tube and they both come out at the same time. But I use quite a bit of this so I buy it in a little bit bigger tubes. So what you're going to want to do is typically it's equal parts of the resin and hardener. So you just take a little piece of cardboard, equal amounts of both the resin and the hardener. You can kind of just mix them as they come out a little bit. And that should be plenty for what we need to do. And then you can just take one of the toothpicks you're going to use and mix it up. Now this activates the epoxy resin and this is a quick set resin so it starts to set in about five minutes. So you're going to want to work pretty quick. Right, now that we've got that mixed up we're going to go put in the dowels and the toothpicks to plug up the holes. Okay now that we've got the epoxy mixed up we're going to put a little bit on a toothpick, put a little bit in the hole and then we're going to put a little bit of the resin is going to be on the dowel and then we're going to slide that right in the hole. Now these are fluted so they have a little angle on the end so we're going to leave them out a little bit and then we're going to end up trimming those off with a chisel to make them even with the door. So we'll put in the next dowel, get the third one in here. And the good thing about using an epoxy resin, this is a five minute resin so it dries really really fast. Now we got those done, we're going to use, we're going to do the toothpicks. So we've coated a couple toothpicks. We're going to slide those 
into the hole with the resin on them. We're going to get them in there nice and tight, just like that. And once that resin dries, then we'll, we'll take a chisel and shape that down. So we're going to take off any excess resin here now. And we'll wait for those to dry. It's only going to take about uh, 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, now that the epoxy is dry, we're going to take a chisel and we're going to just cut off the ends of these toothpicks to be flush with the door. Then also we're going to check on these dowels to make sure that they're flush. So we'll just take a chisel. and get those flush with the door. Okay, now that those are all smoothed down to the door, we can take our hinge and reattach it. Now the greatest thing about doing it this way is that we didn't even have to take the door off. If you've got several hinges are the same way, then you can uh, basically do one hinge at a time. Then we just have to put all the screws back in. Now those will hold nice and tight and we won't have that problem with the door. Well, we hope you enjoyed that demonstration on fixing the hinge and the stripped out screws in the door. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and to check us out online at everythinghometv.com.